Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? Great. So, hello everybody. This is the obviously the last day of the two-week uh, long 2019 Nuclear Innovation Bootcamp. Uh, this year, of course, you know that uh, we have done it in Paris, so the OECD and EA is proud and excited that we have been able to host it this year. So, so thank you, NEA, for hosting. And now, um, also we want to say hello to our colleagues and friends that are watching us through, through Facebook, so hi guys, welcome, enjoy. So as I said, this year was quite different from other years because we had this new added challenge to try to organize the nuclear bootcamp in Europe. So, so it was a little bit more, more challenging bringing all these organizations from all over the place together. So we had, um, we have selected 28 participants and this was after we received over 150 applications from all over the world. So this tells you about the, the high quality of the applicants and of all the participants that we had this year at the Nuclear Innovation Bootcamp. And also one thing that is important, for the first time, we not only had students, but we also had early career professionals. So this also gave us a little bit more of a different kind of diversity and a new uh, dimension to the bootcamp. So I thought that was hopefully very good. So let me also say that to remind you for everybody, what are the three main objectives of the, of the bootcamp? So the first one is we wanted to create an environment where these 28 participants could meet, develop connections, interact, and spark their innovative ideas uh, and build for the future. The second thing is we wanted to give these bright minds all the tools that they needed to be advocates of nuclear energy in the future. So they could interact with their friends, family, and professional environments to tell the real facts about climate change and the place that nuclear energy can actually place in the global energy mix of the present and the future. And finally, we wanted to enable the participants to be actors of change in their own professional entities and implement innovative and efficient ideas in their structures. So hopefully we have achieved some of those things, of all of those things to some degree. But, uh, but also what, haven't, what hasn't changed from previous editions is that we really, really, where a lot of people have worked very, very hard uh, have been committed for a very long time. We started organizing this weekend, probably in September or our even earlier. So it's been a long time for, for some of us. So there's been a lot of people that have worked very hard to make this happen. So I think that I would like to, to take a, a couple of minutes to recognize who those people are. So first of all, uh, of course, nothing would happen without our sponsors and supporters. They have provided the, the funds for you guys to be here. So, so thank you to the sponsors and supporters. Uh, so we had overall about 10 organizers, 30 mentors, and 50 speakers. So, and of course, all these people donated the time and, and their interest to work with you and to be with you. So thank you to everybody for, for doing that. So uh, also what was very interesting is that this year uh, we shared the work among various organizations and people from both, uh, from both sides of the ocean. So we have people in Europe and in the US. Uh, and of course the idea here is as we try to make the bootcamp a little bit more sustainable, uh, we, want to, uh, we want to make sure that all the workload is shared among all the people that work in, in the bootcamp. So now I'm going to start naming names. And I really, in some cases in particular, in, in two cases in particular, I want to make sure that you guys recognize these people. Huh? So I want to recognize, uh, to begin with, uh, two people without whom this whole thing would not have been possible, okay? So they, they were here working on this since I don't even know how long, and they've been in, uh, working super hard for this from the very beginning. And these two people, I know you know who they are. So the first one is Mali Solo Hirko from the OECD. <laughs> and the second one is Rivert Bennett. Uh, <laughs> Kira 
that outside, so we keep our flag with like a nice thing again. So <laughs> uh, uh, the Nuclear Innovation Alliance. So, so okay, obviously you all know that nothing would have been possible without those two. Um, in addition to that, there were four people that made sure that we actually had a camp uh, with a diverse content, um, with an appropriate venue, and make sure that uh, we had food and place for you guys to sleep and all those things. So it was not easy to transition, to transition from, from the old continent, from our, our usual stopping grounds in Berkeley, to all the way to Paris, but I think we handled it very well. So the people that helped with this board uh, were Elsa Lenet Xavier from Andra. <laughs> so also Ashley Fina for Nuclear Innovation Alliance. Adrien Coet from the University of Wisconsin. <laughs> So we had a bunch of other key people that helped and organized very many aspects of this bootcamp. So uh, also I'm going to go through the list. Uh, first, we have Daniel Sayani from the OECD MEA. Hakima Kichi from the CA. Papa Sali Galedu from the from ASSISTEM, they are also members for SFM. Thank you. <laughs> and Anthony Gisson, uh, Gisson from EDF, also a member of the SFM. <laughs> so finally, I want to recognize and thank all the great speakers that, as I said, donated their time and came all the way to Paris to participate in the bootcamp from all over the world. So thank you speakers for sharing your time and your insights and all your knowledge with this uh, future generation of very innovative nuclear professionals. Um, and also, uh, we really want to, uh, to make sure that everybody recognizes the importance of the collaboration. I mean, so yes, there were a lot of individual people that, that contributed, but the, the bottom line is we all work together as a team to make this happen. So I really think that was, that was the, the key to the, the whole thing. So uh, again, thank you to everybody. And then I think I, we have Elsa that is going to explain what is going to happen now. Um, and then otherwise we will let you guys give your pitch and, and let us anything that you have a copy. Thank you very much, Sarah. Uh, before, before I, guess, uh, I wanted just to mention something to you, uh, to this year, the Innovators Cohort, right? So uh, I want to say welcome. Uh, welcome to this, uh, your, to this community, right, that you are now part of. Uh, welcome to this alumni community of the bootcamp. Um, so I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, clearly uh, alumni of the bootcamp are involved in this year's organization. I mean, you've seen River. Um, and, and you've seen also some volunteers and some speakers and some uh, mentors that were part of the boot camps in the past. Also, I mean, participants like you guys. And so they, they, really, uh, they really participated to this year to actually help the community grow. Uh, and because they want this community to, to exist, right? So um, uh, what that means is that the people that are going through this two weeks event of the boot camp, you know, they, they share something a little different from the others. And maybe it's a different perspective, a different kind of training that the other people don't have. And definitely, I hope, a broader perspective on, on the future of energy and, uh, and the need for energy in the, in, in the near future. And uh, there really is a message that you should and, and you need to bring that with you out there. Uh, whether you start a company or work at a, at a laboratory uh, or, or, you, or you work in a startup or you're actually working in a larger one, a larger company, or even if you leave the field, you know, um, nevertheless, you should uh, bring this broader perspective with you. And uh, because you get to see all the problem facets, you get to see all of them and also the solution uh, that, that, that of, of these problems. And you, you do bring a different context uh, with you. So welcome uh, to this uh, weekend alumni community. And uh, we are very, very proud of you. Uh, thank, thank, thank you very much. So the 2019 
2019 Nuclear Innovation Bootcamp is the result of an international collaboration by the association with the French contest that was Innovatum. And so the French Nuclear Society is very proud to be part of the organization of, of the Nuclear Innovation Bootcamp this year. And we contributed to make it a success, so we're very happy. Especially the Young Generation Network, uh, who's been really engaged in the organization. So now, I think you're in a bit quick. <laughs> so I wanted to say, do we all recognize this place? <laughs> so yes, this is Sydney. <laughs> so actually, uh, the award for the winning team that will be selected today is uh, $2,000 as a contribution for travel expenses to go to this Congress, which is so IONT 2020, which will be in March. And the idea is that you will be able to pitch your idea to the international contest, which is Innovation for Nuclear, I4N. And so the other contestants, they are also winners from other uh, local uh, contests. And so you will have people from Africa, from Asia, also the winner from the Spark contest. So you all become contestants again and the idea will be to to, to win the iphone contest um what i can say more a little briefly is that iwnt is a conference so there will be a lot of very high profile speakers <coughs> and workshops there's also a call for paper like technical paper so you you're, you can actually uh, send your your proposal for papers for technical sessions and a little word on IONC if you don't know about it. So it's an organization that really aims at uh, engaging with young generation. They help to have a local young generation networks in each country where there is nuclear power. And um, also a little focus on the other activities. So there is, I find I mentioned it, but there's also activities um, linked with uh, the climate, so there is the Nuclear for Climate Initiative where the young, young Generation Network is really involved. And there's also a lot of program with mentoring programs and everything. So the idea is really to uh, engage the Young Generation and uh, try to uh, canalize all this energy. If you have more questions, don't hesitate to ask questions later on. Thank you very much, Elsa. Uh, before we start with the pitch, I would like to give an opportunity for the jury to present themselves, maybe. So if the jury you want to stand up, um, not necessarily, I mean, I think, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so yeah. And uh, you can present yourself to the community of uh, speakers here. Hello, uh, my name is Rebecca Tedessa. I'm the division director for Radioactive Waste Management and Decommissioning in NEA. And my background is um, radiation physics and environmental engineering. Hi, I'm Bruno Bessel from Assistem. I'm uh, head of operations for reactor engineering here in Paris. I'm uh, really excited to see all the projects that will be presented today. Hi, my name is Sebastian Diaz. I'm working for a nuclear company. I'm in charge of a fire protection uh, specialized company. My background is civil mechanics and also earthquake engineering. Hello everyone again, um, i seen you all two days ago. My name is Nathan Patterson, I work for Atom as a Senior Technology Advisor there. Um, really looking forward to your presentations. I've actually just came from a meeting where we were labelling some projects to put forward with a specific uh, badge of honour to go for your Atom funding. So I'm quite interested to see how your projects uh, line up compared to some of those ones as well. They look at some great uh, proposals you have so far. Hello, I'm Nathalie Collignon. I'm a head of innovation within Orano. And uh, the fact is uh, I'm looking for a disruption today. So hopefully, uh, I just, sorry, I'm, uh, I came late, so uh, I, I just had the opportunity to, to read through uh, very quickly your proposal. I see uh, some uh, industry 4.0 uh, uh, solutions, some communication solutions. Uh, I'm not sure I already uh, saw something about uh, business innovation, so hopefully you will make us dream. Thank you. Thank you. 